Today we're going to start dropping some iron. On our jet we have a Mark 83 1000 pound and Mark 84 2000 pound high explosive unguided bombs. These can be delivered in manual, continuously computed impact point or CCIP and automatic or auto release modes. These modes will also apply to other bombs like canister munitions and high drag bomb modes. In this lesson we'll look at the CCIP modes for free fall bombs. For this lesson, we'll dive into CCIP release mode. First, press the AG Master Mode button, or 2. Now let's look at the left DDI, which is showing the stores page. Below the top row of push buttons are the two bomb types loaded on your jet. 83B is for the Mark 83, and 84 is for the Mark 84. To select a bomb type to drop, you simply select the push button above the bomb label. Select a big ol' Mark 84 first by pressing push button 7. We're now in the bomb's format page that provides us a wealth of data. In the center of the format page is the wing form with representation of the nine stations. Below the outer wing stations are diamond symbols that indicate a pylon adapter to carry multiple bombs. Below that is the number of bombs on that station. And then we have the name of the weapon. As you can see, we have two Mark 83s on each outboard wing station and one Mark 84 on both inboard stations. A Mark 84 is boxed and selected on the left inboard station. The selected weapon is also indicated by its legend being boxed at the top of the format page and the ready RDY indication below. Directly below the wing form is status of the master arm switch. In this case, it is set to arm. Press spacebar to continue. Along the left side of the format page at push button 5 is the bombing mode selection. Press this now. You now have the four bomb delivery modes displayed for selection. From top to bottom, auto, flight director or FD mode, CCIP and manual modes. We'll discuss FD mode in a later lesson. The current mode can be seen listed in the program 1 data block in the bottom center of the format at the top of the left column marked Mode. It will default to CCIP at the start of a mission. Go ahead and reselect CCIP by pressing push button 3. Below the mode selections are selections for mechanical fuse or MFUZ and electronic fuse or EFUZ settings. For the bombs we'll drop today, We'll set it as a nose-mounted mechanical fuse. Go ahead and press push button 4 to select MFUZ. Now we see the possible mechanical fuse options that include off, no fuse, nose, tail, and NT for nose and tail fuses. Select a nose fuse by pressing push button 4. When you set the M fuse to nose, note the line in the program 1 data for M fuse changed to nose. Press spacebar to continue. Now let's take a look at some of the unique elements of the CCIP bombing HUD. Running from the bottom of the velocity vector is the displayed impact line, or DIL. This is also sometimes referred to as the bomb fall line. Below the velocity vector on the dill is a horizontal bar with what appears to be upturned wings on the ends. This is the pull-up cue, and this will advise you of potential ground collision. This is not a weapon fragmentation warning. When the velocity vector is below the pull-up cue, the brake X will appear on the HUD. On the right side of the HUD is our selected bombing mode, CCIP. Press the spacebar to unpause. Off your nose at waypoint 1 are three groups of target trucks. Over them is a gate to help mark their location as well as a red smoke marker. You may have noticed a new horizontal bar on the dill up here. This is the reflected release cue. The distance this bar is from the bottom of the dill is proportional to the distance of the CCIP bombing cross is below the HUD field of view. So, as you dive, the cue will drop down the dill until it reaches the bottom and then the bombing cross appears. To get you lined up with the target, fly to place the intersection of the dill and the reflected cue on the point you want to drop your bomb. Try to keep your speed about 500 knots and use smooth control inputs to line up the release. Aim for the group of trucks marked by red smoke. 
When the CCIP bombing cross appears at the bottom of the dill and it is over the target, press and hold the weapon release button or press and hold right alt and spacebar. Once the bomb is released, pull up to 30 degrees to keep from impacting the ground. Altitude. If you miss, keep Altitude. trying. Good hit. Press spacebar when your wings are level and we'll learn how to create more program settings. If you're not there already, set the left DDI to the bomb's format page. On the page, select the Mark 83 from push button 6. Select the 83B now. This time we're going to release more than one bomb in a pass. In fact, we're going to drop four. On the right side of the bomb's format page is the UFC option on push button 14. Press it now. On the top two option select windows now show QTY and MULT. QTY is short for quantity and MULT is short for multiples. First, press the option select button to the left of quantity. The quantity option select window is now colonized, meaning we can enter data. In this case, we will enter four for the number of bombs we want to drop. After entering four on the UFC keypad, press the enter button on the keypad to save it. When we entered a quantity of greater than one, we now have an INT for interval displayed as an option select window. This will determine the space in feet between the impacts. Select the interval option select button. Let's enter a 500 foot spacing between impacts by entering 500 using the UFC keypad and then pressing the UFC keypad enter button. Press spacebar to continue. The last element we can set is for the multiples. This determines the number of bombs released in each pulse. So, in this case, if we set a multiple of 2 and a quantity of 4 and an interval of 500, two pairs of bombs will be released with 500 feet between the impact of the pairs. Select the multiple option select button. Now enter 2 on the UFC keypad and then press enter on the UFC keypad. Note that on the bomb's format page in the data block we have a quantity of 4, a multiple of 2, and an interval of 500 feet. This combined with our mode and fuse settings comprise program 1 for the bomb type. You can create up to 5 programs for each bomb type and cycle through them using PROG on push button 20. Press spacebar and I will unpause the lesson. Using Mark 83s with a new program we created, circle back around and attack another group of trucks at waypoint 1. As before, try to line up the bombing run using the dill and reflected cue. For best results, you may wish to climb back up to over 10,000 feet before making a bombing run. When you're done practicing CCIP delivery with Mark 83 and Mark 84 bombs, press escape to end the lesson. Altitude. Altitude.